Hi, I'm Erin. I'm a 41-year-old mother of two, and I carry a rare genetic mutation. That means I am genetically destined to develop early onset Alzheimer's disease if clinical trials don't find a way to prevent or delay disease. And I wanted to address a comment I received yesterday that in our clinical trial, 50% of mutation carriers are receiving placebo and 50% are receiving active drug. And someone said, it seems cruel that anyone in the study could receive placebo. Um, another commenter pointed out, and I think this is important to note, that the control group receives the current standard of care. In um, another test, people who are closer to their age of onset or perhaps in early stage mild cognitive impairment, are they're testing anti-tau plus lecanemab as the active drug against just lecanemab or lecembi, as you might have heard it called. So the control in that study is active drug. But in mine, the standard of care is not yet to administer anti-amyloids before symptoms of Alzheimer's begin. Now, we know that Alzheimer's disease begins developing in the brain 20 or 25 years before the onset of symptoms, and an anti-amyloid, you know, ideally will help clear or prevent that amyloid plaque that we believe ends up damaging the brain and causing the cognitive symptoms that ultimately show up, right? So I can kind of see it both ways. I understand that we need to test against nothing, but at the same time, I do very much wish that everyone in the study could get active drug because I believe in this particular case that it's very, very likely to make a difference. With that said, I also appreciate that the study has made accommodations that we won't be on placebo for too long if we are genetic mutation carriers. So after a couple of years of gathering the data that they need from folks who are receiving placebo, if those folks do carry the genetic mutation, they will be moved to active drug. And um, that's a solace for me. So anyway, kind of one of the trade-offs of participating in science, right? But if I can help science find a way to prevent or delay Alzheimer's disease, I'm going to do so.